what's up guys, Val Guy here, uh, here with another video. Today I'm going to talk about different seeds inside Valheim. So what seeds are is essentially the map. So when you log in, pick your character, uh, you can see I've already made seeds here. So these are all just randomly generated, but you can make custom ones. So for example, this one I've named Dad. Uh, actually my, my son did, to be <laughs> quite honest there, but if we go ahead and hit start, it's going to load us in that seed of dad. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you why a seed is either good or bad. And by good, I mean easy. And by bad, I mean hard. The game is going to be a lot harder for you if you randomly get one of these seeds um, that's a lot harder. So while this game is loading, I'll just tell you what I mean by that. Um, what we're looking for are some criteria. We want to be spawned on a decently sized island. We want to be spawned somewhat close to Elder and a Traitor. And then we want some of the rest of the bosses to be relatively close. It doesn't have to be on our exact island, but it's got to be close. So, um, this one, if I spawned here, I'd be like, okay, this is great. This is a great seed. I'm next to the water, which is what I look for. I can see a house right in front of me, and I think that might be another one right there. I'd be very happy with this. But, when I go to my map here, it's a relatively small island. It's mostly meadows, which is good, but there's just some black forest, and that's it. So I know, just based on this map, um, and I've done the cheat, the explorer map cheat, I know by looking at this, that three of the bosses cannot be on this island because there's no mountain, there's no swamp, and there's no plains. Heck, look at how far the plains are away. So this map would be, just on the surface, pretty hard. You know you have to build a raft relatively quickly, especially if Elder is not on this island. Uh, Elder is the second boss. Eichfurt should be, but I'm going to show you guys what to do, how to tell if this is a good seed or a bad one. Just go ahead and open up Chrome, and then go to Valheim Seed Generator. Okay? going to click on that. When you do, it's going to open up uh, a world like this. Now this is the world that, excuse me, that we just spawned into. So there's our spawn. There's our first boss. Um, and then it shows you, well, I've got this one set up to show boss stones, trader, and bosses. So here's Elder way over here. And there's only one boss stone on our entire island to tell us where Elder is. So this is bad for two reasons. One, we have to, absolutely have to, build a boat to get to him. There's no other way. You can't swim this. No chance. Two, um, we look at the terrain here, the biomes. This is Black Forest. This is Black Forest. Hopefully, there is enough um, copper and tin in these two Black Forests so we have the ability to make a... Um, something larger than a raft, which you need 80 bronze nails for. It's a second boat, I can't remember the name of it, but if you don't have the resources for that, I'm not going to say you're screwed, but it's going to be very, a lot harder. Probably, if I, what I would do is I would raft to this one, and then get the resources, and then build the boat over to here. But, if you don't find this stone, uh, or don't look at it, you start, let's just say, you see this island, it's closest, you're like, oh, okay, here. Now you're looking through here, and hopefully you find this stone. And if you don't, hopefully you find this one, but... Yeah, if you just spend all your time looking for Elder through the Black Forest, and you just keep... Look at there's none in here. So if this is your first stop, you'd search this entire thing, and no boss. And then this one, and only two. And it looks... They look big on the map, but they're... They're not too easy to find. And then same thing here, you could explore 80... 90% of this without seeing these two stones like if you landed up here and just kind of explore it this way Oh, there's way over here so that this island would really really not be cool <laughs> to start off um, So this would be an example of a bad map So if we go beyond that bone mass, which is your third boss isn't too far away your trader is a good distance um, And then let's just let's kill those stones so there is yag booth and then Here's your closest mortar. So, first boss, uh, traitor, second boss, uh, third boss would be here, 
fourth boss, and then you can finally make your way to Yagluth way up here. So you'd be... this is quite a bit to explore. I mean, this is a good... I don't even know, at least 30-40% of the map just to get to your bosses. So this would be an example of a bad map. I'm going to show you another example real fast. Um, this is the seed that's randomly generated for us, so you can see it here. This is another example of just terribleness. So you've got your spawn, you've got your first boss, which is good. Your traders a boat sail away. Notice how we still don't see any bosses. Like I see a bunch of islands, I don't see any bosses. So where is Elder? Well, there's Bone Mass, there's Motor, and there's our closest Elder way over there. And it's not as simple as just sailing here because now you have to go through this giant plains. You'd have to go all the way up and around and then down and then finally here. Getting off of the swamp you'll probably die because you're in the uh, Bronze Age still here and the swamp will eat you alive. Uh, the plains would be even worse. So this is it. And then we still don't even see uh, the final boss, Yaglu. Keep scrolling out. There he finally is, way out there. So not only do you have to go far east for basically everything, but then you have to go far west for Yagluth. Um, this elder might be a little simpler to get to, but he's pretty well land landlocked. Still have to go all the way out here. Man, either of these maps are very, very hard. If you, if you get spawned into here and you're a uh, brand new player, you're not going to have a good time. So now I've shown you kind of what a terrible map looks like. Let's take a look at some decent maps. Um, this world, you can see it up here. Just type this in and this is what you'll get. So on this island, um, it's, it's decently sized. You've got a lot of room to explore. Um, if we go to our biomes, uh, you've got, was that swamp down there? I think that's swamp. Yep. Um, so you've even got a little bit of swamp. You've got a bunch of black forest, you got a bunch of meadows to build on. Um, and then we'll go back to full terrain. You've got your second bosses on this island, your fourth bosses on this island, your trader's not too far, and you gotta go there anyway for bone mass. The only thing that's a little far away is the egg loop, but you can walk the majority of the way, well about half, and then you set up a boat and go there. Uh, the nice thing about this one too that he's in the meadows so you can set up a little outpost or a base here without having to worry about getting attacked by the planes um, so that's extremely nice this would be a decent starting map um, I would say this is pretty easy but not like crazy easy you're still gonna have to sail around a little bit especially for that trader early game um, take a look at the next one here and they're gonna get a little easier as we go so here's our spawn here's our first bosses now the only problem with this one is again getting to Elder. So this is probably your best way right here and then you're gonna hit a swamp for just a little tiny bit but then you're there. So this wouldn't be too terribly bad. You could hit your trade or two on the way um, and then everything else, bone mass, motor, and then um, yeah, it isn't too terribly far. So this wouldn't be a bad, too bad of a map. Uh, to start on either. This one um, spawns here. Our trader is on our same island, which is excellent. We got three locations to choose from. And we've also got Elder up here too, so there's no boating. You can walk all of this all the way up to Elder. Now it is a walk, but you don't have to make a boat. You don't have to worry about a raft. You don't have to worry about the sea serpents. You don't have to worry about any of that. Um, then, as we zoom out, your next boss is boom, boom, boom. Motor is usually the hardest boss to find. Um, you're up in the mountains. It's hard to navigate up there. There's always jumping, and stamina is always a concern. So, uh, this wouldn't be so bad. Once you find this one, you're good. You're just island hopping. And you're in a relatively small circle. I mean, look at that. The rest of the map, all of this, you don't have to worry about. Just in here. All right, so on this one, same thing. We got our spawn, we got our trader and elder on the same island, which is excellent. That's what you're looking for. And then look at this: bow mass motor, uh, Yagluth. Yeah, basically, you have to travel to. You start on one island, you have to travel to another one, very very short distance, and another one, very short distance. 
this would be an excellent, excellent map, especially if we look at the locations here. When you get off here, this is a, uh, you beat the second boss, you can just boat right here, boom, you're back in the Black Forest. Small walk to the uh, Bone Mass boss, and then you're going to motor, like, immediately, and then finally the egg move up here. Um, the only problem I really see here is the, could be a problem, is the crypts, which is where you get iron from. But as you can see, there's plenty, plenty on the Yagluth Island. There's also some up here for you. Uh, anything you see that's loading in the swamp is a crypt for you. You can also hit this swamp, which is loaded. Um, it's going to keep loading, but yeah, you have plenty of certling cores, uh, tombs you can get certling cores in on home base island. So this would be a really, really, really good starting map uh, if you're new. Not a lot of sailing. Sailing is a pain in Valheim. Um, it's fun. It's fun to do with your friends, but there's a lot. If you're just trying to beat the game, it takes it takes a long time to sail places. So there you go. There's all of our crypts and um, tombs and everything like that. So you should have plenty of iron relatively close to you. So this would be a really good map. Our last map here is right here. So. Here's our spawn. Now, the trader is on our island, which is great. It's also right here below us. So two traders, pretty close. Um, just pick one, and then look at this. As soon uh, as we're done with that, we've got Elder here, we've got Bone Mass, Motor, and Yagluth. This is about as good as it gets, folks. Um, very, very little sailing. A lot of times, what'll happen is, let's pretend this isn't here, this motor. And you gotta go way out here for them, or way out here for your bone mass. Uh, that is not the case with this map. And if we click on um, Tombs and Crypts, it's gonna start loading them, but you, there are plenty, uh, plenty of places to get iron from all around. So this map here, it's E2, capital W, F, Capital N, capital F, I, capital D, 8R would be an excellent, excellent starting map um, for anyone new to the game or that's trying to get uh, started. This is, yeah, I had searched, when I was make, trying to make this video, I probably searched probably close to 100 maps, and this was like the standout. Um, but you can do, like I said, you can make your own seed. This, this is Dad. And whoever made this didn't much care for their dad. So again, I mean, look at how far everything is. Everything. And where, where the heck is Motor? I don't even see him now. I know I've showed you earlier, but yeah, way down here. Look at that. Look at how far that is. And sailing in Valheim, it all depends on the wind and the weather, and your boat can take damage, and there's sea serpents, and it just takes forever. So the closer things are, the faster you'll finish the game, the less frustrated you'll be, and dying on the ocean sucks sucks royally because all of your stuff if you die let's just pretend you die right here there's nothing around you have to sail all the way back there to get all of your stuff and you better hope you better hope you have enough resources to build another boat back at your island or depending on what you took with you you might be like in a situation where you're almost starting the game all over again uh which is needless to say pretty awful uh, so yeah, sailing is not a lot of fun. It can be. It can be a lot of fun. I shouldn't say it's not. But if you're new, sailing is a very good way uh, to die quickly, and it's very frustrating. So yeah, this is the easiest map I found. This E2W1. It is case sensitive. I think I've said that like seven times. But just to reiterate, uh, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. I'd love to know what maps you guys have found that are like super hard or super easy. Uh, so please leave those comments down below. Also, I'd like to shout out to whoever made this, Valheim World Generator. You're amazing. Uh, I'll show you a little more about it since we're, um, since I'm showing it to you. Here's a huge one, uh, Maypoles, which of course isn't working, is it? Might not be any Maypoles poles in this seed, but I doubt that. Uh, troll caves. You want to kill a troll? You know, want to know where trolls are? There you go. Uh, beehives. 
Give it a second, it'll load where all the beehives are. So you want to start making honey early. This is how you do it. And a lot of and beehives are almost always on structures. So not only do you know there's beehives here, you know there's structures as well. So you can make uh, homes out of that. Uh, what about dragon eggs? Those are a pain to find. So just give it a second here, and I'll show you where all the dragon eggs are. Some people consider this cheating um, because it's like an exploration uh, world, and I don't. Wow, tons of dragon eggs on this mountain. Um, I don't quite disagree with that. It is a bit of a cheating of a cheat. Uh, however, um, if you if you start on something like this, I don't blame you at all because this is this is a challenge right here. So. Um, yeah, that's it for me. Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, hope you have a great day. Thanks.